Today I'm going to apply the same template that I did the other day to aeroplanes, but this time to a record breaking high altitude jump. We got Felix's Red Bull high altitude jump. Two things of interest. Top left, the stats regarding his height, 127,520 feet. And of course, the horizon, which is risen right up to camera eye level. Those two things are very revealing in itself, and it's only going to get worse now. Bear with me. So how far away is that horizon from Felix in the heliocentric model? Well, according to the globe maths, I put in the observation height, Felix's height, and according to the globe maths, it's 438.2 miles away. So we've got that as a reference. Now I want to know how far the ground curves between two points of reference, point A being the ground beneath Felix's balloon, point B the being the horizon Felix is seeing from his balloon. So I've put in an eye height of zero, because obviously I just want to know what the ground's doing here between those two points of reference below Felix. So eye height zero, target distance height 438 miles, which is the distance between the two points of reference, the ground beneath Felix, and the horizon Felix is seeing from the balloon according to the globe map. So I calculate, and I get the figure of 127,661 feet. So I've got that as a reference. So now we've got our figures here. Point A, point B shown here on the globe, showing the curve drop between the two points is 127,661 feet according to the globe. We've also got the balloon height here, 127,520 feet that uh, Felix is sat in. And of course, we've got the direction Felix is looking, the arrow, seeing the horizon. 438.2 miles away, according to the globe. But the bizarre thing is here, according to the globe, when we add the balloon height up, plus the amount of curvature between the two points of reference, it essentially is doubled. The horizon that Felix is seeing from his balloon that is at camera height, according to the globe map, that horizon should be 255,181 feet below Felix's eye level or the camera level. That's 48 miles below camera level. Think about that. I'll just break it down a touch more here, as if those figures weren't ridiculous enough. Essentially, that horizon, which is at camera height for Felix's camera. According to the globe math, that horizon should be over three times the height the U-2 spy plane flies at below eye level. It should be two times the height the balloon Felix is in below eye level or if you want another way it should be 251 London shards stacked on top of each other below eye level or camera level so that level horizon that is at camera height according to the globe map should be 48 miles below camera level 48 miles oh leo the balloon's leaning forward <laughs> if anything it's leaning slightly back my dear boy and even the way your maths is presented look how it has to present it looking down from a height at the horizon not looking straight out your globe is impossible. High altitude balloon footage without GoPro lenses proves how ridiculous the globe is. Demonstrable reality again proves how ridiculous the globe is. The horizon and globe mathematics prove how ridiculous the globe is. Felix has just proven how ridiculous the globe is. So we thank Felix for that. 